Ladies and gents, hello and welcome to ROG Pulse, the weekly show where we dive into all things tech and gaming. And we're finally back on our actual usual trend of talking about tech news, gaming news, and, and uh, you know, act, then diving into our main topic, which is today unboxing up to five different laptops. Some are very similar. We have got a couple up to five. We'll see how far we get. But um, yeah, we should be opening all five. Should be a lot of fun. We'll be diving in. And then, of course, in future streams, we'll be doing full deep dives on each specific laptop. And I just want to call it out right now. We have a Discord community. You can just search for ROG Discord on, on Google. Or if you're on Twitch, you can type exclamation mark Discord to join. Because next week, we are doing a live Q&A. We'll be answering as many questions as we can. And the hottest... Third time's the charm. Welcome back to ROG Pulse as we have had two freezes of OBS in a row, which is weird. OBS did just have an update this week, which honestly usually doesn't have problems. They're actually a very reliable uh, software developer. But anyways, we, uh, we are hopefully back and here to stay for ROG Pulse. We're diving into a new year. We've got all kinds of new stuff from CES 2023 to show off, and we're going to be unboxing five new laptops today, diving into some gaming and tech news. And as I was saying, when we crash, we are doing a Q and A next week, next Thursday. So join our Discord, exclamation mark Discord in Twitch chat. If you're on YouTube, just search for the ROG Discord. Let us know what questions you guys might have about CES news, PC building, streaming technologies, you wanna get into streaming, you name it, let us know what kind of questions you have and we can do a full Q&A next week. The last thing I'm gonna say is, happy birthday, Whitson. Everyone say happy birthday in chat. I got you. Um, <laughs> Can't they hear me, Jake? They can hear you now. I'm sorry. You were muted. So let's talk again. It's his birthday. I had to mute him for his birthday. No one wants to hear him on his birthday. I, I was I was just saying in the Discord, if you want to ask a question, go to the ROG stream channel. There's a thread in there where you can ask questions. Make sure they get seen. And you can upvote with emojis, other questions that you like and want to see answered, stuff like that. Yeah. If you ask a question just like in the regular Discord and I see it, I might add it to the list. But if you want to make sure it gets added do it in that thread. We won't be able to answer everything. We probably won't be able to answer a lot of questions about pricing and availability of like 2023 laptops and stuff. Right, I right. promise that information is coming, but we'll answer whatever we can. Uh, and we also will answer questions live if you guys just throw questions in the chat during the stream. But sometimes if we need to like ask someone at headquarters something, uh, we won't be able to answer it off the top of our head. So it depends on the type of question you have. Nudge your gain just just a little bit down. Just down. Just, yeah, yeah. We're we're having all the glorious tech issues today. You it's, know what? If it was gonna happen, it's good that it's today. It's kind of a more chill stream. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to have a more chill episode of Pulse. It's been a while. By the way, I still can't see the stream. Oh. In the call. Everything's um, breaking. Everything's breaking. Everything yeah. Uh, when will the website, website allow us to compare again? I don't know, but I, they do know that um, the compare feature is having some issues and they are working on it. Any plans for birthday today? Pulse. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. Are you went out for lunch, lunch right? with my wife. Yeah. yeah I went to lunch yeah. with my wife. Um, can you request items from HQ for your birthday? No, but they're coming anyway. I do still have these sweet, sweet Rikiri controllers that I'm actually going to be sending to Jake. We have to yeah. send them back to headquarters, but Jake's going to try and get a gameplay stream. Out we're going to, yeah, we're going to squeeze in a stream to show it off and then they got to go back to Taiwan. But, uh, I think you're, you're wishing for Asus Santa to give you that as off keyboard. That's, that's what you're, I am the J key on my keyboard is actually kind of broken because <laughs> you're I broke only a it writer. Apparently. It's not like you need all your keys to work. Yeah. It's starting to become a little bit of a problem. So I really <laughs> need them to send me that Azoth keyboard so I can, uh type again comfortably but everyone was at ces last week so i didn't want to bother anyone to ask but now that they're back i'm going to start hassling some people <laughs> i like it i like it um well all of my my notes and documents got exploded when i had to reboot my okay PC, so. i got it so am i just not going to see you is that what's going to happen am i going to well, be I are you going to be unboxing i can't see it. oh i turned it on <laughs> on the obs side not the discord side that's why uh what well, i was be like we're yeah. going to be unboxing i'm just going to be pretending that i can see them there we go there you are just wait for it. Discord was the culprit, and the Discord Handsome man. camera feed is going to destroy the OBS stream. Just <laughs> it's wait now we're going to crash. Just, yeah. We're going to crash now. <laughs> All right. 
tech and gaming news. There's actually a lot of tech news this week because we had CES and there's some stuff that we haven't really gotten to yet. Um, I guess this is actually gaming news. I'll, I'll save this. First thing was both Intel and AMD uh, announced some new processors at CES. Um, and we did briefly talk about them uh, on our last couple streams, but I wanted to just kind of give a shout out to them again. For, so first of all, on the AMD side, this is really exciting. We got some non-X processors, um, which are actually already getting pretty good reviews, I think. They are really power efficient, but still quite good. Um, if you're not looking to overclock and stuff like that, those non-X mm -hmm. series desktop processors are going to be a good choice. And the X3D processors are coming. This is exciting. I believe these are coming in February. We talked to AMD wow. a couple months ago, and they said that... Ryzen 7000 series was going to have some 3D V-cache mm -hmm. processors. And after the 5800X3D was such a hit Very last year, successful series, yeah. We were on the edge of our seat. It was, I mean, that extra cache is huge for um, a lot of games. So we're going to get an 8-core Ryzen 7 7800X3D. We're going to get a 12-core Ryzen 9 7900X3D. And a 16-core Ryzen 9 7950X3D. I am super excited to see what these chips can do um, after the 5800X3 just kind of blew us all out of the water last year. Um, they also announced some mobile chips. Um, I won't get too deeply into those. You can see which ones we're offering on uh, the spec pages of our new laptops. I believe the Ze uh, Zephyrus Duo, the Strix G17 and SCAR17, and the Flow X13 are all using AMD chips this year. Remember that AMD mobile chips come in two variants, HX and HS, the HX being kind of the more powerful ones. Um, and I think that's what we're offering in most of those laptops. Intel also announced their um, non-K series processors, so same kind of deal, the non-overclocking variants, lower power variants of their desktop chips, as well as mobile chips. They have four different SKUs of mobile chips, HX, H, P, and U. That's in order of most powerful to... Uh, the more efficient kind of thin and light laptop chips. Uh, when it comes to ROG laptops specifically, you're probably looking at the higher half of that. If you're looking at like Asus ZenBooks and stuff like that that are not really gaming and more just kind of thin and light work laptops, which I do love. I do love those machines. Those um, are going to be a little bit more varied. Yeah, YouTube, don't worry, guys. We're going to get to the unboxing soon. The format of the show is we always dive into some news, then we get to the main meat of the show. So you got to be, be patient. patient. Be patient. Be patient. We'll get there soon. We got five different laptops to open, or six. Jake and I haven't had a ha chance five. to just hang out in like yeah, weeks. It's, and it's his birthday, <laughs> man. Let, let us, let us kind of <laughs> YouTube rant a doesn't bit. care. Yeah, they don't care. They don't love you. Uh, nope. Anyways, uh, let's this, keep oh, going. You want to make some people mad? Let's talk about <laughs> Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 are officially dead as of this week. No longer getting support from Microsoft. It's time to upgrade, guys. If you're still using Windows 7, yeah. it's time to get with the times, I say. I got to say, I actually really, I'm digging Windows 11 a lot. I was it's surprised nice. it's, it's how much not I a... liked it. Like, I think the, I, I had immediately had to change the, the taskbar to orient to the left. That's like the, the first thing I did. I was like, I don't want this center taskbar. I'm not an Apple user. You might like it. I know you use <laughs> I... Apple. No, well, yeah, don't out me, man. Sorry. I switched to Windows for a reason, but it wasn't <laughs> the centered versus left. I like, I actually didn't think I was going to like it in the center. And I, did I haven't switched it? I honestly didn't realize you could switch it. I didn't dig that deep into the oh, settings. Oh, that was to find the out. first thing I did. I was like, uh, uh this is weird. Like, and it's funny because like... every time I use my work laptop, which is still on Windows 10, because it's like you know a work machine and the updates are managed by the organization. I'm like, why is all the stuff on the left? <laughs> like I've already gotten so used to it. Um, no, it's nice. It's not as like it's not as um, it's not a disruptive update, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you first upgrade from like Windows 7 to Windows 10, you're like, whoa, where is everything? Um, and you get used to it eventually. But 11 wasn't like that. In fact, 11 now has some stuff that's pretty nice, especially when it comes to like HDR gaming. Um, it has some it has like a new HDR calibration tool that I think is exclusive to 11. And I think a lot of the new technologies are going to be coming to 11. But overall, there's some more stuff in the settings menu, some more consolidation of settings and control panel. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I mean, yeah, it's it's mostly all good stuff. I If you're still running Windows 8 or whatever, I'd recommend checking it out because... And it's free updates, it's going right? Away. You literally just free. install the update, like so. Yeah, honestly, that was like a big. That was a that was a very nice change when Windows went Windows updates went free. That was an exciting day. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. 
Um, I think the key that I used from for, on this PC was an old Windows 8 key. I was like, I don't want to buy a new Windows Oh, yeah. I, still, I was like, I, oh, let me just find an old one that I used to have. And One of my computers, at least one of my computers, is still running a Windows 7 key I got in college. Exactly. Like, straight up. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. I know the people who are probably still running Windows 7 and 8 probably aren't, aren't going to upgrade now. But, guys, no, security updates, not. it's important. It's true. This, okay. I had to throw this in there because apparently the Last of Us TV show is good. I mean, are you surprised? And it's not the like ca- the it's cast not is that excellent. I, it's not that I thought it was going to be bad. It's that I was very cautiously optimistic. It's hard because to you be, just never know. Yeah, it's hard. Like when you consider how many bad video games adaptations we've had throughout the years, that's changing. We're starting to see good adaptations finally. But um, yeah, that's that's good to hear. Some I actually, critics have called this the best video game adaptation yet there's only like two episodes out though right so or the critics have probably it's, seen it's not out yet but the critics have yeah. at least seen yeah it yeah, yeah. well we'll see but um i'm personally waiting for the last of us to drop on pc march 3rd we'll be streaming it here on this channel and giving away copies of it so if you're if that's a series that you know you're a pc gamer you've always been interested in in the series maybe you want to wait to watch the show that's kind of where, where i'm at i'm like i'd rather play the game oh, i would much than, rather play the game first then then watch the show so i'm waiting on the show march 3rd last of us part one comes out we'll be streaming and giving away keys on twitch um but again that's that's a couple months away but still exciting stuff to see that the show is good you can wait yeah, if you can yeah. wait. Um, this is also exciting news. Uh, Microsoft is having a developer direct on January 25th. So if you want to see some hot new games coming from Microsoft's publishers, a uh, couple weeks, you'll be able to see some of that. They'll be showing off um, Forza Motorsport, uh, Minecraft Legends, Redfall, and I think some Elder Scrolls Online stuff. Starfield is not going to be present at that developer direct, but they are saying that there will be a separate event where they're doing a deep dive on Starfield. So nice. Um, Highly we'll be on the twenty fifth, but hopefully after. I know. I you know, as someone who put a lot of hours into Skyrim, <laughs> I am I'm very curious about Starfield. Yeah, yeah, should be good. But um, I might have spent more hours modding Skyrim than I did actually playing Skyrim. That's I think that's true for most people, and just that's, <laughs> that's true for a lot, a lot of people. the replay value is is in modding, but yeah. Um, and then I, okay, I had to put this in here just because I loved this headline. I'm just gonna read you the headline. This is from PC Gamer. The headline is Deep Rock Galactic sold millions of copies last year, and I reckon its wholesome community is to blame. The game's got charm, but the community is definitely a driving force. Yeah. Yeah, I just I I love that. You know, I feel like sometimes the internet can be such a toxic place. It's it's nice to see that like it's nice to see a community be so wholesome and the the developers and publishers of that game get rewarded for like fostering a game that that attracts that kind of community. Yeah, well they built the atmosphere and they built the the atmosphere uh, they built, you know, that whole community up from that, but they supported it as well. So really good stuff. And um, it's a fun game. Oh yeah, we've been having a blast. We got we got to get we got to get back into it sometime. Few other gaming topics is is Hogwarts Legacy has started to reveal some of the cast and what I'm really excited oh. about. I mean, I think everybody's excited about the fact that Simon Pegg, who legendary actor, if you guys have seen Shaun of the Dead, I mean he's he's in all kinds of stuff with Nick Frost. Um, but Simon Star Trek Pegg, series, the yeah, the, yeah. Uh, Mission Impossible series. Yep, yep. Um, he is going to be playing the headmaster who is uh, canonically the worst headmaster of all time. He's like, he's just a piece of crap. He's the great grandfather of Sirius Black in, in the Harry Potter franchise. So like there's like bloodlines that we're seeing expanded on because this is a prequel game um, to, to the you know original book series. And it's Simon Pegg. So I'm really pumped about that. A lot of other cast members were announced. That's the one that stood out to me as like, yes, this is going to be fun. That game is yeah, like... that's promising what a month away so um looking pretty promising and that is another game that we'll be giving away game keys here on twitch and it, it's hype too i've heard like a lot more hype for that game than i kind of expected because i'm not like really in the harry potter world but like i just talked to random people and they're like oh yeah i'm really excited for that harry potter game i'm like oh okay so i think it's gonna be big 
Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's the number one wish listed game on Steam right now. So I yeah. think the expectations are high for sure. Hopefully it's good. Um, it, it does look like Red Dead Redemption with magic in terms of the world. It looks visually stunning. So Sounds like a winner. Um, the, uh, Harry, I mean, let's face it, Warner Brothers and the Harry Potter franchise needs a winner right now because Fantastic Beasts has just been tanking horribly um, yeah. to the point where they're not even going to finish the movie series. Like they're just like, can't, there was supposed to be one more film. They're like, now nah, we're done. Um, too, too many controversies with actors and too many just, lackluster well, films that's a lot a lot of that going around the true hollywood true, lately true that's, true yeah they're not alone what can you do um skull and bones has been delayed again ubisoft released a big update today saying they canceled a bunch of games and they're they're delaying skull and bones so um obviously ubisoft another company that we'd like to see have a win i think skull and bones is looking like their biggest game of the year in terms of what i'm excited for um they're delaying it they think they need more time it was supposed to be march Hopefully we get it before too late because honestly it looks really fun. Um, so we'll see. We've we'll had see. so many delays from the pandemic and stuff. It's just like oh, dude, I, it's, it's, it's it's hard to be upset about it because yeah you just can't you can't things goes. And you know what? It's like obviously it's unfortunate that they have canceled some games, but if if the final products that we do get are all the better for it, then like I'm really I, I'm not going to argue right. Like I'm all yeah. for it. Um, you do what you got to do. And uh, the last thing I'm going to say before we dive into the unboxings, because I hear you guys in chat, I know you want the unboxings, um, is the the first Q&A stream, again, is going to be next week. Join our Discord. We are going to be um, answering any questions you guys have from anything we announced at CES, you name it. Join our Discord, exclamation mark Discord and Twitch chat, or just search for ROG Discord. Join us. Let us know what you have to think of the ROG stream section. You'll find a, a thread um, with all the information you need for the Q&A. But... People are eager, Whitson. They want to see the new boxes. They want to see. All right, good stream. See you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start with the Strix. We got to start big. Or do we yeah, save the Strix go big or go home. Do we, do we just taunt Dude, everyone? I love the box. This is a sweet box. Yeah, it is nice looking. I'm looking at it sideways, but. It's okay. You know, yeah. Not funny. <laughs> Strix. It's a big boy. Um, I assume is this, this the 18? is. You know, I assume so. I just actually piled these laptops up, said, I'll figure out what they are when I open them we up. We have no idea what's in it. Nope. It's a surprise. It's like Christmas. I mean, it's obviously... What if you opened it up and it was just rocks? It's obviously the scar. Yes, that If it was just know. rocks... I can be... read. Yeah. Which one is my birthday gift? None of them. The G14 is going to be my birthday gift, right, Jake? So it even, even has instructions. You think so? You're going to get the G14? That's that's the that's the that's the sample I want you to send me <laughs> right away. I don't have one yet. I know. And we'll go when ahead and slide this out when you do. Maybe I I've can... got I've got I honestly have enough on my plate. I still have three laptops here, and I got I got some work to do with them. You guys, one of the things that I really want to do this year because we have so many new laptops with the Nebula HDR display. I want to do some HDR guides on how to kind of tweak your settings and and get yeah. the the most out of those mini led displays because sometimes i know that can be a bit tough the way that Look hdr works and they leveled up our box there's a thing you you pull down now has a little arrow so i was like this is different than last year that opens this shelf for the laptop but also there's a tray beneath that has it's the like power a drawer cable. yeah it's like a drawer here so we got to take That's the laptop amazing. off first um, which is obviously our, oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's actually really dope looking. And then that's this little tray, dope. it's just a little flap. So this is a much nicer box design than last year. And then all and the last accessories. year's was really nice. We were like last year when we unboxed it, we were like, this is nice. And this is like a whole new step up. There's and your an armor, armor cap. cap. Yeah. So it comes, it comes with an armor cap on the laptop and then we'll, another right there that you can swap in. They have slightly different like textures and yeah uh, that pouch is empty some some regions may get more accessories than others sometimes that that does happen oh this is um multiple kind of adapters sometimes this is, this is a universal oh sample. okay yeah 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 sometimes um different regions may offer bundles as well and i don't yeah. know if they so put sometimes products in the box or not but all right so that's the packaging dude that pkd art is so awesome yeah really cool and That's an RG Saga thing. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if like different boxes come with different characters. It might. On them. Um, Cause I mean, they, they work on this stuff year round really. Oh, yeah, they work hard it. on it. So we got the, you can actually see there's um, ROG kind of embezzled on there. 
Is that the rubber? I love like the big yeah. giant rubber feet on the bottom of the Strix machines to make sure that they do not slide anywhere. Really, really can. nice. Just zoomed in a little bit. Um, yes, this is a different kind of plastic with some rubber on the ends. So it's not all rubber. Ah, but there's, okay. a there's a big rubber O. So it's oh, an ROG, but it's cool. a big rubber okay. O. And then there's rubber here and rubber on the back. But those are much larger than you typically get on a lot of yeah, laptops. Yeah, I mean, these are big feet, too. I mean, you can kind of see how large that is. That's kind of a big rubber foot. This is a giant rubber strip running across here. So this isn't really going to slide. It's also elevating it for ventilation. Um, I was going to say, so there, the rubber uh, big things are a little bit smaller than previous years, but that gives you more room to add some vents, which is nice. Yep. Um, big uh, RGB strip running across the whole front and, and kind of a little bit around the sides here. Um, yep. And then on the back, the one of the big changes this year, that is now just one huge vent along the back for better cooling. Um, and this must be the 18. It's quite large. And it's it's not just the vent either, right? Because when we re, when we redesigned this machine from the ground up, and it still has that kind of Strix look to it, but um, it uh, the when we redid like the internals, that whole back that back vent used to be I/O, and instead now we have a much larger heat sink um, that uh, has three fans instead of two. Right, and now you have that ventilation at the bottom, so you get you've got just more airflow and more surface area on those fins, which allowed us to raise the total graphics power of the Strix machines um, to a higher level. Yeah, value. And in fact, by the way, guys, I'm actually going to drop this in chat because this should be live now. It's not I live yet, <laughs> or it's or it hasn't appeared on the front page. Let me find it. We at every year. Um, in the interest of transparency, we release um, a full list of TGP values for all of our laptops. Um, and I we, I just finished the list last night. Lane and I finished the list last night. But it's not public It yet. is live. It's oh, it not, is. No, it is public. It's not on the front page yet because the cache needs to refresh. But I'm going to drop see. this in Twitch chat. Um, I, I'll, not I'll, in I'll get it chat. In Maybe you can drop it over. So you can see... Um, every config that we offer for all of these machines and the total graphics power uh, with and without dynamic boost, the boost clocks, um, the muck switch availability, stuff like that. So the Strix SCAR uh, is going to be available with a 4090 or a 4080, both at 175 watts max uh, wow. with NVIDIA's dynamic boost. Um, that's higher than... These Strix machines last year, I believe, except the special edition, we pumped up to 175 watts. So, yeah, it's going to be dope. I had to zoom the camera pretty much all the way out because of, you know, this is a big device, obviously. Um, the screen, that's the max tilt that you can get on it. It does have a webcam on it. Not all laptops come with webcams nowadays. This one does. And, and I believe this, I, they didn't last year. So this is new for Strix. That's very, very exciting. Yeah, it is true. Um, and, you know, a lot of people ask for it when it's not there. And um, if you don't want to use it, then, you know, not really missing out, I guess. So my, I, not Mitch Selden says my laptop is so big I had to zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, power Ethernet, two USB-C, HDMI, and then an aux port there for 3.5 millimeter. On the left side and on the right side, you have two USB-A um in terms of expansion what do we have m.2 uh yes there should be an, a second m.2 slot in there if you wanted to open it up and add a second drive i believe mm -hmm. that is available you can expand the ram and i believe probably swap out the wi-fi card too is, is pretty typical. oh really hmm. yeah um we got a couple uh questions here that i do want to address real quick sure. um apple knees <laughs> funny name says how loud do the three fans get under normal usage not not gaming he's asking about normal usage I think a lot of people, when they're gaming, they wear headsets, so it's less of a concern. The thing about the fan usage uh, under typical workloads, all of our laptops have our zero dB technology so that if you are, if you put Armory Crate into silent mode and you are just like web browsing and stuff, the fans will turn off completely. So they'll be completely silent. Um, if you start doing a little bit more work, uh, you, you know, if you're like watching Netflix or doing some like light conversion of of files or something like that and it needs a little bit more horsepower it might ramp them up a little bit but it's not going to be super loud um unless you're like you're running a, a, a pretty full load so it it varies with the load and it varies depending on the mode you are in in armory crate which is why i always put it in silent mode if i'm not gaming 
shout out to the more square displays on laptops. Yes, uh, 16 by 10 uh, displays across most of our lineup this year. That's a, a big new thing. That extra vertical real estate is really nice. Not just, I mean, it's nice when you're just scrolling web pages too, because most of what we do on a laptop is is up and down, not side to side, um, which is nice. But it's also nice uh, when gaming too. You get just a little bit of extra uh, expansive view. And so that's going to be really cool across pretty much the whole lineup this year. I think the only ones using 16 by nine are the 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 17 inch strix machines um that are using last year's chassis design do you do you know the uh, model n names or numbers off the top of your head like g8 no i don't okay i do not <laughs> right. i do of some of the monitors but not the laptops because there are so many different SKUs for like the, those model numbers oh, yeah, i might know like some of so there's some of them are just the like the laptop like the g715 or something is the um, I'm, I'm not, ex I don't know them that well, but like, there's a, there's a smaller model number for just the laptop family, mm -hmm. like Strix G17. And then there are the model numbers that have all the extra letters that tell you what config it is. And I definitely don't know those. Is the camera compatible with windows? Hello. Let me double check on that for you. I believe it is, but I don't want to say something that's not true. Can, windows. Can just, hello is awesome. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this box art with this, this ROG saga graphics? really just badass <laughs> i'm not even seeing anything about the webcam are you sure that's a webcam this is i'm now second guessing myself well it certainly <laughs> looked like a webcam but i could be wrong um we'll f see what's on the scar 16 which is what we're unboxing now uh pretty much the same i mean it's, it's a lot of the same just a little bit smaller actually i'll, I'll I should probably take that SCAR 18 back out and show, show it side by side. But um, this is the SCAR 16. Oh, it, it is it is a webcam. I just don't know why it's not on the. Uh, I don't know page. why it's not on the product page. You'd think that we would yeah. be <laughs> really uh, really wanting to promote that. I so I don't know if it's compatible with Windows Hello. I a lot of our machines are so i would be surprised if it's not compatible with windows hello but what i will do for you is i will add that to our q a for next week and yeah. i will find the answer for you same feature here you have this piece that comes down kind of opens up once you lift it off same exact artwork same exact um accessories on the inside and yeah we'll uh This. Sorry, I, I, now there's silence because I'm writing down that question. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Do, do all Strix laptops have three fans? So Med HMA, the Strix, the 16 and 18 inch models have three fans. The 17 inch models that are using last year's chassis design do not have three fans. So that's just for the newly designed versions. Is there a resource for locating which retailers sell which configurations? That is a great question. I don't think so. Um, a lot of times, it's it's a little bit less by config and a little bit more about family. So like last year, Best Buy was the only retailer in the U.S. that um, officially sold the G14, I think, and possibly even some of the other Zephyrus devices. Meanwhile, the Strix, the Strix G15 and G17, I think I've only seen it costco this year um they may oh. oh and walmart costco and walmart were the only places that i think i saw them and so it's I, I think it varies less like from config to fig and usually a little bit more from like device to device but it it, it it depends um and i'm sure that there are some places where it's like oh yeah these retailers only carry this config these only this config um you kind of just have to search around for the config you're looking for uh and and and, and not, not Sometimes, all regions are even going to have every config. So yeah, that's it's going to vary thing. from that. Yeah. That's right. So if, you, if you're looking at like that TGP article that I dropped in, you see a config you want and you can't find it at a retailer. It may be because that config is not even available in your region. Your Certain local, colors yeah, might not be available in your region. Asus departments, so every country or region has their own Asus department and they choose which Yep. models they want to carry based on what they think will sell the best in their region. Exactly. Um, so 
Uh, yep, but we, we do have camera on the 16 as well. I mean, it's pretty much identical overall in terms of visuals. Uh, I.O. ports are the same. Um, you know, again, trackpad turns into a numpad just with, with a hold of a button. And yep, it's it's pretty much what you expect from a, from a scar body, I think. Yeah, same same rubber feet Sweet. on the bottom, um, but we can we can keep on. Oh, and the scar has the numpad. Too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a yeah. that's a good size. Yeah, this is again the sixteen. Um, do we do we want to see a side by side? I think people probably want to see the side by side. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, guys, remember again that even though these are 16 and 18 inch displays, those larger displays are mostly a result of um, that new 16 by 10 aspect ratio um, and possibly maybe like some changes in the bezels. But but overall, uh, these are similar sizes to the 15 and 17 inch machines of yesteryear. These are still going to fit in your typical 15 and 17 inch laptop bags. It, you're not getting a laptop that's, you know, I know 18 inches sounds like an enormous laptop. It's not. It's the same size as the previous 17 inch laptop. You're just getting more screen. That's the beauty. Two beautiful scars. <laughs> like, want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> HQ sent them to me. Savage. Savage. All right. Let me. What was that number pad? That is the, it's, we call it the Asus number pad. Um, you press a little uh, in the corner of the trackpad, it says like numlock. And if you press down on that, the trackpad will light up with a little touch number pad on it. So because the, the 15 inch machines aren't big enough to put a full number pad on the keyboard without like sacrificing um, key spacing and sizing, uh, we put the number pad on the trackpad for certain configs, not all of them, I believe. Um, and that way you can kind of bloop, 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 right there on the trackpad. It's very cool. We actually have those on our Zen books as well. Um, and I think the Strix G machines, some of them have those too. I don't know about Vivo books. Some Vivo books might have them, but I'm not sure. It's uh, no Zen books do. The Duo has it because the Duo has um, the, the trackpad, little trackpad one, which is what I like the most because it's on the right. So then it's like a natural numpad. I like that um, too. <clears throat> but that's just me. Uh, anyways, we are moving on to a Zephyrus machine. Can anyone guess ooh, which, ooh, which Zephyrus ooh, this is? Ooh, ooh. Please tell me it's the M16. I, I want to like see the M16. I see people saying they like this box better. It's a different aesthetic. That's what you've got the Strix aesthetic, which is a little bit more of like the RGB gamer like vibe, I guess. And then you have the Zephyrus aesthetic, which is more of the elegant, sleek gamer vibes. Yeah, totally different vibes. And that's like, that's awesome. We got something for everyone. Yeah, that's the beauty. Do any top of the line laptops have fingerprint readers? Uh, I don't believe any of our ROG laptops have fingerprint readers this year. I know we used to Single have sign some on. We've on done it before. Strix yeah. machines, but I think, I think, partially the reason that we don't have them as much because Windows Hello, I think, is kind of at least for me personally. I can't speak to why they were designed this way. I can only speak to what I care about. With Windows Hello on webcams, I don't really care about fingerprint. Yeah, sensors anymore because Windows Hello is so fast. It's faster than it would be for me to find the fingerprint sensor with my reader and touch it. Like I'm just in that quickly. So let's see if I can. Some of them may have fingerprint sensors, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Adjusting the lighting a little bit here. Yeah, you can see the opening. You open, you got a little Game Boy with Omni on it. Or some kind of game device, RG Zephyrus. Um, <laughs> Don't get a suit. <laughs> and then uh, the enemy matrix is here on the M16, right? You can see it right there. They're kind of giving you the preview. This has got to be a G14. That looks small. I'm pretty sure Unless this is the, the M16. Uh... Oh, okay. Wow. It's uh, maybe it's just the perspective of the camera. I have big hands. <laughs> yeah, big, it must be. Big meaty hands. You know what they say about big hands? Big gloves. Big gloves. It's too bad that Animatrix was taken. That, that You're right, but the whole point of the Anime Matrix, that's like kind of a central point of it, is that it's you can customize it. You can create your own animations. You can download other animations. The me part of it is kind of important to the yeah. whole identity of, of that feature. 
um, it's not just an animation. It's an animation that you can fully customize and make your laptop like one of a kind. It does look small though, doesn't it? No, nah, that's a that's that's not the M16. It can't be. Let me. It can't be. That's too small. That's my boy. That's my boy, the G14 right there. I thought this was an M16. Why did I think that? <laughs> He's trying to find the model number. So sometimes What's they're the posted number, on it. Sometimes they aren't. It's not posted on it. Well, that's awfully confusing. Yeah. I'm well, sure they, they expect you to only. they expect you to know what it, what it is when you buy it, not not when when they just they expect drops. us to know what it is when we work here. Ah, they look similar to me. Open it up. I mean, look, if it was the M16, you'd be able to tell by like the polished sidewalls and all of that stuff, right? That's true. Oh yeah, you know what? It's got those speakers on the side. That's uh, I think that's gonna be a 16 because I don't think the G14 has that. Thought so. But I could be wrong. Ha. I don't know, dude. I mean, I need, I need I need you to really give me a tour. Yeah, well, I mean, it's that nice um, off black look. Yeah, that's which, that's an M, that's an M sixteen. Yeah, I thought so. G fourteen doesn't come in black. G fourteen doesn't have those speakers on the sides, and I can tell the polished sidewalls. This is so hard. If I was holding it in person, I'd be able to tell. Yeah, I know, I know. But, I'm, put, I'm putting you through the ropes. Yeah, that, that's yeah. actually really cool. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah, this, so that's the new. This is the newly designed M16, and it does like it's it's taking a lot of inspiration from the previous M16. But if you look at how polished the sidewalls are on that lid, it just adds this whole new level of premium to it. Same with that off black finish, and they redesigned like that vent on the back with the three lights that that give you the status. Um, that's been redesigned a little bit as well. It is really really sleek. This is the M16. <laughs> Matt Mitch Selden says, I had a new idea. Can we do a game show for Whitson's product knowledge? Dude, people were doing uh -huh. that in the Discord to me yesterday. Dude, Someone he knows like, a lot. He knows a lot more than I do, for sure. <laughs> Especially with laptops. We are, we are not allowed to benchmark these models, um, but when yeah. we get our second round of samples, we'll be able to start benchmarking them, showing you guys gaming performance, stuff like that. So a lot of the models that we get may not have the exact final specs. They have the exact final body, but some of the hardware could be different. We don't know that they are, but either way, these samples... They're like the last, the very last pre-production models before right. like the final on-shelf versions. They just wanted to get something Hit me to against us. another Asus team member. Yeah, you'd have to find like... It's hard because there are certain Asus team members who I could probably trounce in a game like that, and there are certain Asus team members who would destroy me. You know, if you got like JJ on here, he's been here so long, he's got in you know institutional yeah, but, but in the knowledge in the laptop and, and space. I don't, I don't think he'll he'll that, challenge That's you. true. Uh, you know what? I don't know. He, but you're right. If you challenge us on motherboards, he would destroy me. Laptops, I don't know. It because technically Jake and I technically work for the laptop arm of the company. Um, I, I do, but, everything. but we work with everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really do everything. You write for everything. Yeah. Um, but anyways, something I love about the Zephyrus, you know, the full hinge all the way back, so you can have this vertical. I've literally stuck my my Zephyrus models in the back of uh, the seat in front of me on an airplane, so I can have this <laughs> massive screen. And I just look like such a jerk. Like people are just like, "What? Is, who is this guy?" Um, but it's like, you know, that's not something you can do with a scar. There's pros and cons to every device. Obviously, the scar is the beefiest, most powerful device you can buy. Um, but the Zephyrus M16 is nothing to M16 still comes with a 4090 or up <laughs> up to a 4090, depending so on which model you want to go with. It's insane. And it's, it's still a very powerful machine, but because it's a little bit slimmer, it doesn't have quite the size of the heatsink that the Strix models have. Um, so it's 145 watts is the top TGP on that. Still going to be very powerful. Still going to give you a great gaming experience. I have last year's M16 right here, and it's awesome. Um, but it also, I mean, it, it's designed, like we were talking about, it's designed for a little bit of a different crowd. Um, so it's just... Flavor is the spice of life, my friend. Exactly. And I love the slim devices. So this is a little bit more up my alley. And I'll tell you, I really love those 180 degree hinges too. And we've talked about this. People always ask like, why would I lay it out 180 degrees? And I just gave you a reason. My, well, just yeah, my one. answer, I never lay it out 180, but I love 180 degree hinges. And here's why. When you have a laptop um, that only opens to a certain uh, angle, it's usually fine. But then if you're like doing a weird thing, you're like standing up at the kitchen counter with it, or you're like in kind of a weird position on the couch, 
I just like knowing that I have the full 180, not because I'm necessarily going to go the full 180, but I might go like 170 in yeah. some weird position, or I might go like 165. And for a lot of um, laptops that don't do that, I'm like, oh, can I get it far back enough for this really weird position I'm standing in this one time? It's just not nice to have feature. It's You can't see it super well, but the ergo lift hinge does elevate the machine as well for better ventilation beneath it. And that's a nice little benefit as you, this is around the, the maximum. So at this, this angle, um, once you go any further, it's not gonna go lift your laptop any higher, but. This that is the, tinge is nice though. Yeah, it's great. It's great. This is the M16, Zephyrus M16, 2023 edition. Uh, again, none of these have power. They came from Taiwan and we're unboxing them live. So nothing's charged up, um, but you can look. But I assure you, they are laptops. They, <laughs> <laughs> we, we will do, um, you know, gaming performance benchmarking streams on these uh, in the coming months, but we don't have a, a date for any of those specific models uh, for the, those kind of streams just yet. Not yet. Um, but again, just, just to reiterate, we are doing a Q&A on, on Twitch next Thursday. So if you want to partake in the giveaway, you have more questions that we may not have answered today or questions that we might have might not have the answer for right now. We have the ability to reach out to, you know, the teams that made these products. We just we just talk about them and game with them and, and you know, g generally get the good side of things. But there's actual engineers out. that are developing these machines and we can maybe get more information and dive into some of the deeper questions that may exist. So please join our discord and ask those questions in the ROG stream section. There is a thread. Um, I okay. in 79 has a good question. What's the p wattage of the power adapter? You just put it away, so maybe you can't see it, but it <laughs> gone now. We'll, we'll see what it is on this one. Uh, I think uh, I don't want to guess. I mean, here I have the I have the one for my 2021 M16 right here. I can check that. <laughs> um, I was moving on to the tough A16, which is not RG, but it's okay. And tough has this new branding aesthetic of mechs. Dude, like, I, I love like the the mech. Yeah, hell yeah. I so, I mean, we we had it. that we had that last year too, but the I know, but it's like it's year. it's it seems more prominent yeah. to me. This two hundred and forty watts on last year's M sixteen. Um, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it's going to be in a similar ballpark. And actually, I think my G fourteen had the same two hundred and forty watt adapter too. Now the M sixteen does uh does oh, that's the 2020, 2022 M sixteen that I was looking at online. Um, the the Zephyrus machines do also have USB power delivery. So if you don't have like a, uh, if you don't bring your charger with you and you just want to like top it off while you're on vacation, like you can just use the same hundred watt, you know, USB-C power adapter that would work with your phone or your tablet uh, to charge it as well. I don't know if I would, I've not tried gaming with one of those connected. I would generally recommend gaming with the full power adapter um, so you can keep the laptop charged up but you can use USB-C power if you want to this Slower is charging, nice but yeah yeah so like you, what you'll immediately notice how much more premium. oh this is the a16 yeah this is the tough a16 but you, you could immediately tell the difference in the box quality right the strix box the rg boxes in general are just as nice as it gets for a laptop these stuff boxes are they're what you expect from a normal package right it's a normal packaging there's still some cool design on it but it doesn't have the same kind of like auto lift thing a little shelf beneath it's not quite as <laughs> premium but it's still i think the actual machine itself gorgeous um really nice i really love what they've done with the tough machines the past few years they yeah, feel more like premium a, than they should <laughs> I, I really don't know what to call this color Sandstorm um, is what it's called. Sandstorm. I was going to say, because it makes me think of like a tank. Makes me think of... That's ex like so that's exactly the idea. Um, we have, we, we've we had a few different colors for the Tough Machines in the past, but this is a new color, I believe, for the A16. So this is the Advantage Edition. This is an AMD, AMD machine. Um, and this is a new color Sandstorm that's absolutely inspired by like Desert Warfare and, and stuff like that. It's this nice, like, yeah, and really, chat. really nice premium feeling finish. Looks like a button to me. But no, that's just a rubber foot in the center with that orange accent, which is part <laughs> of the tough branding. Um, and and yeah, um, again, nice big rubber feet on the corners. Keep this nice and elevated. Not really going to slide around on you at all. And then when we look inside, you get the lift at the top with another webcam attached. The webcams are back, baby. Um, <laughs> I like that tough logo on the, uh, on the trackpad. Yeah, it looks nice. There's also, a, what is that on the? I just think the new tough logo is so cool. Yeah, just says Asus and then has uh, like an X 
marking beneath that full width. Oh yeah, that's that, that's uh that's uh that those are the indicator lights, I believe. Mm. Full width with the numpad on the side, big trackpad. Um, yeah, cool. Yep, the tough machine. We we don't really cover the tough machines uh, no, in super depth much. on this channel, but we do well, get the samples before we send them over to our our compatriots at the Asus North America office. So we gotta unbox them and show them off. They are an option if you're. I mean, uh, on maybe a little bit of a stricter budget or you don't have as um you, the, the needs that rog offers you know they're still they're still pretty powerful machines um the yeah. a16 what's the gpu the a16 comes with um i, I want to double check this because i always say something and then i and then i get it wrong <laughs> uh so this is uh up to a ryzen 9 70 940 hs um, and an AMD Radeon RX 7700 S GPU. Um, so those are th that those are great specs. 240 hertz display. Um, like you know, it's not a it's not a, a like a cheap crappy budget laptop like you might see from some other brands, but it is our like slightly more affordable, um, fewer frills. Right, like you don't get all of the RGB features that you do on ROG. Um, you don't get quite as many of the high end display options. You can't go all the way up to like. Uh, a 4090 or the AMD side, you know, like a 7800, like we mm -hmm. had on the on the G14 last year. So it's not that it's not really powerful. You don't get the necessarily the top specs, and you don't get quite as many of those like customization or um, just kind of high end features. So it's it kind of depends on your needs and um, your budget. The tough models are a great option, for sure. Yeah, I mean they're they're big value devices for sure, um, but. Yeah, there's a huge range right there, right? Scar being the top, M16 being near the top, and then Tuff being, you know, the the side brand of not it's it's Asus's gaming line. Whereas in terms ROG, of price, ROG is kind of its own thing. I, in terms, yeah, you're talking power. In terms of like straight up, just like premium and like price and stuff, the M16 may actually be like at the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, it's just a, it's those those thin behind. and light models, the engineering that goes into them is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, but the SCAR is, yeah, in terms of the Strix machines, that is our our top model as well, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of power and uh, just those all those premium features that we talked about. It's got, we've had people ask about this in the Discord, the Strix G and the Strix SCAR machines, the main differences, um, Besides, I think the Strix G only goes up to 4080 this year, not 4090. But then the SCAR has a little bit more RGB. It's got like that that RG logo on the lid is RGB, and it's got a light bar on the back that's RGB that the Strix G does not have. Um, so, yeah. So you just get a little bit more of those kind of fun touch, touches, customization options. I, I see people in chat asking about the flow. I see people in chat asking about the duo. Um, and we don't have them yet. So these samples are like literally arriving a few at a time as they're getting shipped over from, from Taiwan so that we can unbox them and show them off. But this is what we have so far to show off. And hopefully, you know, next week or the week after, we'll, we'll have more arriving that we can we can dive into and unbox as well. Um, we have a couple the, questions in chat. Yeah, just sorry, a few things ahead, before we get into say. that. So the, the whole banner at the top that only works on Twitch, guys, I'm sorry. YouTube doesn't want to work with our bot. <laughs> the robots don't like each other does the 16 inch scar have a better screen than the 18 no i believe this actually oh um so yes depending on what you get so both of them have display options that are the nebula qhd 240 hertz three millisecond displays um so those options are going to be the same between the two the 16 inch model also has the nebula hdr display that's the mini led display with thousand or, uh, plus it's more than a thousand nits of peak brightness. Um, that's also 240 hertz. So the 18 inch version does not have the HDR, the mini LED display. Um, I'm not sure if they're making that panel in 18 inches this year. Um, so yes, in that case, the 16 inch does have that really high end display option f with the mini LED um, that the 18 inch does not have. Do you, th you think, I'm not sure I quite understand this question, you think send a new mouse for SPF with a base to charge. We don't have, I don't believe our mice have like charging bases. Um, I'm not sure I understand what the rest of the we, question is. Oh, we sorry, used to, we used to have Do a we? mouse that would charge on a mouse pad. Um, what was that called? I actually never used it. The Chakram, maybe it's the Chakram used to work with the, uh, wow, I forgot the, the name of the mouse pad. <laughs> 
Um, Does the Duo 16 not have a Nebula main display like the others this year? So this is a little bit um, of a complicated answer. The the Duo 16 last year was was our first device to feature the Nebula HDR display. Um, and remember, Nebula HDR is just kind of like a collection of of standards. Like a, a display has to reach a certain um, certain level of refresh rate, resolution, um, and brightness, like mm-hmm. to to be considered a Nebula display within that Nebula like bubble there can be lot uh models with different specs as long as it's like above a certain tier the thing is that this year um we are now including uh the nvidia advanced optimus as part of the nebula spec and so um the duo which has the same display as last year we're not technically calling it nebula anymore because it because doesn't have advanced not optimus but it's still the same yeah. mini led display um i believe it's, so if, if that's what you care about if you care about that hdr performance and all that the, the new duo still has all of that yeah. um, it's just not carrying that nebula H- hdr tag this year okay but um it's it's still a very high quality display so a question, am I excited for the, for the new controller? The Raikiri is, is wonderful. We got to at least hold it and feel it when we visited the Taiwan office back in October. I got to play with it. Yeah, well, you have it in your, in your house we played, right now. If you go back and watch our stream from last week. I got to play a little bit of Spider-Man with it. Yeah. I talked about it just a little bit. It was cool. But I will be streaming with it on Twitch probably in, in two weeks or, or so. Um, we should be able to get that in here. We're going to get one stream in with it before we send it back to Taiwan. Um, and then... When it gets closer to actually hitting the shelves, we'll we'll probably get uh, another controller. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Well, it feels really it, good. So though. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm re- I'm really excited, and the, the features are nice. Like you can adjust the sensitivity of the sticks. Um, you can adjust like these triggers have little switches on the back, so you can turn them from full range triggers into more like FPS uh, short throw triggers, which is really really cool. And of course, the back buttons. The Raikiri, the wired one, has two back buttons. The Raikiri Pro has Oh, back buttons and a sweet, sweet OLED display that's not on right now. Let's see if this has battery. Yeah, it does. It looks so good. It really it's does. It's so cool. It's out of focus, but yeah, it's really cool. I also, I kind of dig this this disc D-pad. It's like a different design than I'm used to, but I really like it. It's really comfortable because it's just so so smooth. And it's, um, it's a little bit flatter than like uh, a lot of other D-pads. In fact, the D-pad on this one is a bit more of the traditional uh, mm-hmm. cross disc. And this one's flatter, so I wasn't sure, like, oh, am I going to be able to tell? But, like, it's very clear, the directions. Um, and it's really nice. If you're, I mean, if you're playing, like, fighting games, you're doing, like, the, you have to do the rotational movements and stuff like that. That's that, Those discs are really nice for that. I know it's weird for you to hear me talk about fighting games. Like, <laughs> you've literally never seen me play a fighting game in my life. But I know that uh, that's a thing. Uh, anyways, uh, Luminar says I love the back the back buttons. Yeah, the, the paddles is actually something I, I hate, I've hated on other controllers, and I love that on our controller. I think that's something they nailed because I find that paddles get in my way of the way I want it. I have big hands, and I like really grip the controller. My hands rest on the paddles really nicely on the right carry, where it's not a problem, and I and I appreciate that. But obviously, yeah. we'll, have, we'll have more on the right carry soon. Um, we we will have more unboxings as they come in. Again, that's all we had for today. But we you know the duo, the flow series. I mean, there's the G series, the Strix G, like there's, there's many laptops here that we, we, we don't have our hands on yet, but we will have everything. We will. we will unbox everything. And ultimately we will stream and benchmark everything. Maybe not benchmark everything, but we'll at least show performance. We'll benchmark a few of them. Um, cause yeah, we may think. benchmark some of them on the site too. So like Jake does streaming with them and then me and Lane and Eric like do kind of our own benchmarking and write, and you write articles, articles about, about them it, too. Yeah. So yeah. It, sometimes that stuff appears in text form on the site sometimes, like especially cause like benchmarks aren't always like fun to watch, Yeah. but you want to know like what the final result of the benchmark is. So we'll, we put those in graphs on the site and then with Jake, you just get to watch him play. And you'll see the performance in real time, but it's more fun to watch than watching me just like run 3D Mark and like run the Cyberpunk benchmark over and over again. Even okay. though we've done that on Let's stream. Let's see too. if we can game two frames. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, that's what we did last Thursday. And we did game. We gained three frames. Hell yes. We did it. Yeah. Um yeah. Okay. Well, you know, a lot, a lot of exciting stuff. Q and A next week. Again, join our Discord exclamation mark Discord to join, and we're about to do a giveaway through Twitch. You have to be on Twitch. You cannot be on YouTube if you want to participate. So head over to Twitch.tv/AsusRG. I'll drop the link in YouTube chat once again. Where the cool kids are. 
or so the cool kids have told me. They will well, we, we do a lot more streaming on Twitch than we do on YouTube. Twitch we is, do. is our primary platform for live streaming. <laughs> um so twitch has better emotes says chat twitch has better emotes it's true <laughs> um twitch we yeah. stream three days a week a lot of gameplay every episode of pulse not all pulse episodes go to youtube like our q a next week i'm still debating whether i think it should go on youtube or, or just be twitch um because it's a little bit more of a community thing and i know youtube it'll probably just uh, we be also twitch. our youtube channel has a lot of stuff on it and we don't want to like clutter it up yeah. with just just yeah. us like messing around all the time um <laughs> So like if we're like featuring new products and stuff and like really showing them off, we'll st- we'll stream to YouTube. But a lot of the gameplay, a lot of the us just hanging out, that all happens over on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching that, come give us a follow on Twitch for sure. It's so funny that all my friends they they see me on on Steam, they see when Marbles gets launched, and they're like, oh, go to the RG channel. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I just learned this like last week. They're like, "Oh yeah, as oh soon as we gosh. see you launch marbles, we 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 come swimming you, you over." You gotta you gotta go offline on Steam to uh, <laughs> to launch marbles incognito. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, guys, we we are gonna be doing the Q and A next week. Um, and you know, we just started. I just started streaming Jedi Fallen Fallen uh, Order Order. Yeah, I was gonna say Jedi Fallen Survivor. I'm like, no, I'm merging the names of that's, the two games. That's no game. Uh, <laughs> well, their next game is called Jedi Survivor. <laughs> I know, but. Um, we and it's it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna play through the entire campaign. Um, we've only played for a few hours so far, but we're gonna play through the entire campaign, kind of leading into the next one. Hopefully, we'll get to stream the next one as well. We we have game keys lined up for games like Hogwarts Legacy and The Last of Us Part One and, and many others. Um, so lots of cool giveaways you can win on Twitch. But we are giving away twenty dollars vouchers to GamesPlanet.com today, um, which is a place where you can just you know you can spend that twenty dollars towards any game that you like and you don't have to spend it right away you can just apply the voucher to your account save the money for when you're ready buy a steam key for the you know starfield whatever game it is that you're super (laughs) eager to pick up that's that is the game i'm super eager to pick up um so where to go someone oh (laughs) ritz says make an asus rog plus channel where all the extras can go on youtube we do have a new youtube channel actually let me see if i can pull it up um we have a YouTube channel now, specifically for North America, but you know anyone can watch it, called Asus Graphics North America. It is all graphics card content. If you are hungry, hungry for that Hippos. GPU goodness, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can follow that channel to see some of our stuff. I think, have, did we upload the, the clips from the stream last week? Oh, yeah. Have those been uploaded yet? They're going okay. up. We have Slowly. we did a 4070 Ti stream last week where we did a few things and we're gonna upload some smaller like 10 minute clips. If you don't want to watch like the whole hour long stream, you can watch just the part where we feature the Strix card or just the part where we overclock it. Um, some of those will be going up over there. So, you, Milky, I said Asus Europe win. What, what's the context of Asus Europe? I, Exclamation mark play to join the giveaway. I mean, Asus, Asus Europe, Europe exists. Asus Europe probably does have its own. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have its own YouTube channel. I would think they do. Let's see. Asus oh, Europe. I have no idea about YouTube, but I know some regions have. No, Twitch. they don't. Some regions have Twitch. Um, but. We, uh, yeah, that's not really our domain. No, we're global. The local offices have to decide whether they want to make their own YouTube channel. And like a lot of the stuff, like, so there is an Asus global YouTube channel already. It's just called Asus. And so a lot of the content goes up there. And then if individual regions want to do their own content, stuff or their own like marketing campaigns or whatever like they can create their own youtube your channels. region so streams Asus. on facebook i'm so sorry <laughs> what <laughs> the europe re- oh the europe region streams on facebook no I mean, uh, whatever region death wish is in which is uh it, I, I was gonna say in asia death wish is yeah i thought death wish was in taiwan i guess i, I see in taiwan and you know there may be a reason they stream on different platforms like different platforms are more and less popular in different regions right so if like they're not getting as much traction on YouTube in Europe, but they get a lot of traction on Facebook. Like that's where they're going to kind of put their marbles, <laughs> so to speak. Um, same. I mean, even North America has their own YouTube channel and JJ streams to Facebook a lot. So if you like, if you want to go see even more content than what we are already offering here, go over to the PC DIY uh, Asus Facebook group. Um, and JJ he, he, does a lot of good motherboard content over there. Yeah. He gets hands on, on, on more of the, what we call OP products. So more of the like PC DIY products, multiple motherboards, multiple keyboards, multiple mice. He gets a lot more of that stuff. More a frequently. lot of overclocking guides. Yeah, if you're yeah. like an OC nerd. Yep. Nope. Definitely a lot of good stuff. That's the Facebook P 
PC DIY group um, that JJ runs. So he does a bunch of streams. He does weekly streams, I believe, on Fridays there. Um, no streams for Twitter. Now, well, you know, there's, there's so many platforms. There's so many places here. We I tend know. to we focus on Twitch and we do stuff on the global YouTube. And then we a lot of the times on YouTube, we also do cut down edits. Like you mentioned, we've got three for the 4070 Ti series coming up. Um, starting, you know, the next few days, they'll be going up period. I'm not going to dump them all at once. So we're going to kind of spread them out just because that's how YouTube works. But um, yeah. anyways, if you guys have typed exclamation mark play, you have joined the giveaway. We're just about ready to go here oh, i typed the wrong word no did it. It. all right let's do it i'm gonna join too just so i can i need i need birthday. to like i need to get us oh i forgot it was my <laughs> birthday thanks i need a special marble or something i need to like i know my green name stands out because i'm a moderator but i feel like i want to like this got this one guy's got a if a you download if you download that's on fire the game well, I maybe, have because I've run a giveaway on stream before when you were gone. Well, there is there's a way to go just like your marble skin, but you like I think you might I know, get I some haven't. currency for free, but they they sell like that's how the game monetizes. They sell skins. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is I, weird uh, map. What is happening? I like it. This is stairs going down into nothingness. I like this map a lot. <laughs> this it gives me like nightmares, like vertigo kind of, but I also like what? Yeah, this is this is cool. Speed this racer. Is, like, Speed, wait, what happened? Did he jump he, off like yeah, Rainbow Road yeah, style? And yeah. oh, dude, it's all over now. Unless Holy somebody else crap. jumps off further, but like, this is just going to be the easiest win of Speed Racer's life at this rate. Oh my gosh, that's not even a race. I wonder, I, I wonder how often that. Oh, 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 I wonder how often that happens on this map. Probably all the time. Like Razor? I wonder what the oh. record is. We just gotta. No one else is coming even. Close you don't know. To you don't know that. Did he almost you landed don't know right that. in the finish? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> That'd be amazing. That would be. Dizzy cart. At this point, yeah, you guys are just like. Just start eating yourselves off. Yeah. We, absence of logic says, "What a fitting name." Yeah. Speed racer, winning the marbles <laughs> race for sure. He was pushed by another marble. I want someone to jump and, and fall right in. I want it to that happen. That would be hilarious. So bad. I, I really want it to happen. Not because I don't want you to win Speed Racer, but just because that would be It would be comedy so gold. exciting. <laughs> oh Speed Racer. Congratulations. Well done. We're gonna you know well what? Done. For the sake of of entertainment, we're gonna give a prize to last place too. Oh great! No pulse. So, That's but, you. But the flames we are coming. Can't, we can't but, give it to no pulse. He already crashed the stream twice today. That's true. It's his fault. But <laughs> are the flames going to get him? That's the question. They're moving faster than he is. He is slow as can we, be. Is this pineapple pizza emoji? Is that one of ours? No. No. It's probably a Twitch default one. There's a lot of Twitch site wide emojis. Oh, yeah, it looks like it is. If Lucky had uploaded a pineapple pizza emoji without my consent, I would be livid. I honestly, that seems like something she would do. It and does? That's why I thought, because it's like become such a meme on this channel that I thought that like Lucky or someone uploaded it. On Unacceptable. I still, I actually promised I would eat a pineapple pizza and I, I've, I haven't forgotten, chat. What are I'll you going to do? It. Fight me? <laughs> Maybe. Um, no pulse. <laughs> you're, you're 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 hanging in there, buddy. You're hanging you in are. there. Yep, but the fire's coming. You might want to step it up a little bit. Yeah, I actually don't know. This it's is, gonna. Oh, this is like this is a suspenseful. VLNP is the is the next next to last. Conga Maniac says, Jake, we love you, but if you fight Lucky, we're taking her side. We really made a mistake inviting Lucky onto the stream. Damn. She won the hearts and minds of our entire audience, and now you and I are chopped liver. Oh, yeah, mistakes are made. No pulse. Are you are you gonna choke? Are you gonna this choke? This is amazing. Bro? Oh my gosh, come on, come on. And sometimes oh, oh. oh, he's got it, he's got it. Oh my gosh, that was close. All right, so speed racer. What do you win? A twenty dollars voucher to GamesPlanet.com, and we'll send you a message next week. Um, it's basically twenty dollars towards the team key, and then yep, uh, no pulse XBL. Congratulations, last well place. done. Also that was winning. that was a good that was a good marbles run. It was it was a weird map. It was a weird. See, map. I feel you're giving that map heat, but that was like one of the most exciting, intense marbles games we've had in a while. <laughs> Maybe both the first and last <laughs> place were like what. Yeah, 
Yeah, good stuff. A good whole s- minute between. Yeah, first and well, second. that's kind of why I was like, all right, we need to give this a last place too because we're gonna be sitting here for a while. So let's yeah. let's let's hey, make this entertaining. You know I don't mind it. It's been it's been a long time since you and I just sat on Pulse for a while and. Yeah, that was good. Shot good. the stuff, you know. Happy like, birthday, brother. <laughs> exactly what I want. People are like, "What are you doing for your birthday?" I'm like, "I'm doing Pulse with my boy Jake and not." rushing to get through a bunch of stuff like ces is over everyone's like you're working on your birthday i'm like yeah but it's it's chill ces is over all of a sudden it's like a whole new world a whole new world i'm gonna break into song but i'm actually gonna stop myself from doing that um (laughs) but guys thanks for tuning in today obviously we had a, a lot of good stuff to show off and there'll be a lot more good stuff in the future once again we're doing an ama on twitch next week so join our discord ask us any questions you have about Anything we announced at CES, PC building, streaming, um, you name it, like let us know and you know, we'll answer whatever we can. And or if there's too many questions, we'll answer the most upvoted, reacted to questions based on what people are the There are some questions in. we may just not be able to answer and Yeah, yeah, we can. We can't. That's just it. how it is. Sorry yeah. about that. And, and if it ask us most things, yeah. Ask us anything. We we can't we have no dates and pricing. Sorry. It's, yeah, I'll tell you that right now. That's, pricing that's not, and availability, I won't have answers We don't get that yet. info until everyone gets that info. But I much, promise right? I will share it when I have it. And sure, people sure. Tell me but that that's when it's it. going to be going public. So. And actually, I, I do want to say this. This has been a really tough thing for us. Um, I mean, since I started working here, I've been trying to kind of get the hang of this because it, it is tough because availability and pricing can vary so much from region to region. Mm-hmm. Um, and because it does kind of, it is kind of evolving as we go. Um, so... You know, I am in like a lot of meetings and stuff for work, but a lot of the meetings that we're in because we work for HQ, I, I don't always have up to date availability information for like North America or Europe or wherever because I'm not in those meetings. Um, I am trying to find a better way to streamline the process of us finding that out so that when people do ask or when we do have information we can share, we can share it in the Discord and on Pulse. So I'm actually talking to a couple people to try and like streamline that a little bit this 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 year so that hopefully we will have more up-to-date um information at the ready for you guys when it's available so i promise i i'm not just like slacking off and like it'll it'll get there when it gets there like i'm working on it i want you guys to be happy the good life well and have laptops and (laughs) graphics cards (laughs) uh your guys questions make me laugh um you guys want the rg this one i don't know if these you can't even get these anymore i don't think is that think. that's not the stealth one no this is uh we had a partnership with meta threads a few years ago i don't think we have that oh, partnership cool. anymore yeah i don't think you can get this one anymore i haven't seen i haven't seen that sweatshirt yeah i thought we, we might have had some of the stuff i don't know if it's still on sale i think there was a sale at the end of the year on some of our uh some of our there, goods at least in north america yeah but yeah it was an na only so sale, go but. check it out maybe some of that stuff is still available they were out of my size in the thing that I wanted. Big rip. I already have so much RG clothes that I was like, I'm Me good. too. Yeah. But I really like them. So I'm always like, more? More? <laughs> Our team. Which well, drinks are you having tonight? I don't know. Water, probably. Water. I'm not a bi- I'm not a bi- as big a drinker as I used to. I was never that big. He's a Hydro drink. homie, though. <laughs> That's a subreddit, <laughs> if you didn't know. It's just like. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. hydro homies. I like there's it. even like a stay hydrated bot on Twitch that I used to have that's like drink water now. I was like, okay, God. Um, it's actually really actually, useful because I do have a whole thing of scotch over here. UK 007. Maybe I'll have some of that. That's a good idea. Uh, it says a uh, possible ROG sneakers. That would be dope. And I'm surprised that we haven't done it. Or if we have, I'm sure, we, I'm sure we've I done it. I'm sure we've done it. It seems like something we would there's have done. There's an ROG that's basketball. A- Come on. I know, and it's awesome. But the the ROG sneakers, that's like a perfect match for like Strix. Like that whole aesthetic like would yeah. match sneakers so well. RGB light up when you step. Gotta be RGB. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, they gotta be RGB. I'm right? still mad that we didn't have RGB dinner plates when we had an IKEA partnership. Like, come on. Yeah. Heck. You know, that's phase two. <laughs> phase two. All right, guys. Phase two. Tomorrow, Jedi Survivor continues 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Um, we'll see you then. GG's. Happy birthday, Witsen. Thanks.